Hey everyone, this playlist is going to be comprised of the components of a Udemy course I was putting together on learning the basics of Flutter, uh, which I now know is not going to be finished. And so I'm going to release what I have out here to the world uh, through YouTube and hopefully people will find it helpful. Uh, it does pick up with Unit 2 and Unit 1 was meant to be dedicated to installing Flutter and that changes so many uh, so often that I saved it for last. Plus, it's kind of tedious with all the different platforms. So, uh, if you want to follow along with this playlist, head over to Flutter.dev and go ahead and click Get Started, and click on your platform and install it. Also, you're going to want to install when it gives you the options for an editor. Uh, if you haven't done uh, set up an editor yet, uh, go ahead and install Visual Studio Code and get set up there because that's what I'm going to use uh, in this course. So we'll cover some basics, uh, basic layouts, uh, some widgets, some basic widgets, uh, and navigation as well. So uh, even though this isn't complete, I think it might be a good uh, push off the dock for some or maybe just an opportunity for some to kind of sample flutter and get an idea and see if you like it. So I uh, hope you enjoy. <music> All right, so now that we're all set up, let's go ahead and dive in and build our first Flutter application. Now, it won't be a stellar app by any stretch of the imagination, but you got to start somewhere. Now, before we do that, let's take a, a quick look at a diagram here that represents the minimum requirements for building a Flutter application. So every Flutter application requires a Dart main function to start it. So Flutter is a framework that is written in Dart and every Dart program needs a main function to start off the whole process and Flutter is no exception. So we need a main Dart function. We need an app, which is the outermost widget of a Flutter application and get used to that term because everything's a widget in Flutter after you get to this app level. And being the outermost widget, the app is a great place to store things like theming, store the title of your app. It does not, however, actually display anything on the screen. For that, it delegates to a child widget, which is a home widget. And that home widget will actually paint some pixels on the screen. So you need each one of these three elements to have a valid Flutter app. Now, as it turns out, that gives you a blank screen. So for our app, we're gonna take one more widget, a text widget, which will say, hello world, because that's what you have to do for every first app in a framework or language. And we'll put that inside the home screen so we have something to look at. So over the next few sections, we are going to create a Flutter application using the Flutter SDK tool. That's actually going to give us a demo application that comes baked in with the Flutter framework. We'll take a quick look at that, then we will destroy it. Then we're going to build each one of these pieces of a Flutter app. A main function, an app, a home widget with some kind of text on it. So that's what we'll do over the next few sections. In the next section, we're going to go ahead and create the demo app with the terminal. <music> 